So, who's excited for a Christmas readathon? so excited to finally be filming my TBR for this because I was not sure if I was going to get it done before the end of the month but I have a plan. I'm going to do a whole heap of editing tomorrow and I really hope for the best and I wanted to try and be Christmassy so I this is tinsel that I just bought. It is beyond itchy on my neck but I thought it made like oh, a nice scarf and I have this hat and it's got writing on it that I think is fun because it says it's Christmas time the only decision you have to make is a glass or a bottle or a bottle of glass which is totally true because I will be drinking on Christmas but I like how like, thick the white band is but I'm really excited because today's video is going to be my TBR for the Hemisphere Christmas Games which is a readathon that's based around a competition between the Southern Hemisphere and the Northern Hemisphere and I think it's a really fun readathon and last year when I did it it only went for a week and this year it's going for the whole month of December so more time to get reading done and I'm really excited about this readathon. I'm from the Southern Hemisphere and sadly we lost last year. Very here to be adamant that we're gonna really try our best to try and win this readathon. I think we have the potential to do it. Like these bits are just getting too hot. I'll just leave it leave it like this. I'm very excited but this year for the readathon I'm only gonna be doing the reading challenges because there's a whole heap of challenges that you can do either through a vlog or like an Instagram post or a TikTok but I don't really feel like filming a lot of that stuff because I have done it in previous readathons or vlogs are based around Christmas time so I'm only going to do the five reading challenges and there's a whole bingo board as well that you can use for like all your different video challenges and there's different point system and stuff and I definitely will tag the original video down below but there's also a whole heap of information about like the Google Docs so you can have your own version of the um, bingo board but you can also have like the information for how the readathon works and there's also the Google forum so you can add points to your team but I'm really excited to show you guys what I'm going to be reading. So challenge number one is to read a book where most of the action takes place on or near a body of water. I'm finally going to read Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid and I really was thinking I would try and get to Daisy Jones before this one but it doesn't actually matter because they don't relate and I think because I've read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo I'm going to understand this one a lot better but this one takes place at a beach house party so it's only one night and they're going to be near the beach the whole time but I also think the house has a pool is what I'm assuming anyway but I definitely am excited to read this book. I think there's going to be a lot of drama and a lot of shenanigans and I'm excited to see like the family dynamics in this story and I haven't read a Taylor Jenkins read book for the longest time so I'm very excited for this. Challenge number two is to read a book with something dark on the cover. So there's actually two books that I really wanted to read before the end of the year that I've put into this readathon that could be a stretch might not be but I'm still going to make it work and for this challenge I really want to read Aurora's End by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff because Finian's eyes are dark but also there's this like brown like background and like the wording's dark even though like it's a bit light here with the greens but like in general Fidian seems like he's in shadows so I believe it counts but I definitely am excited to read it I actually was planning on reading it this month but then it took me forever to finish one of the books that I read in the month and I'm mad at myself that I couldn't get to this book so I'm adamant like I'm gonna make it happen next month like definitely this will be the second book I read because there's another one on my TBR that I'm really really excited about but I'm also really excited about these so they're probably equally exciting but I'm gonna read the other one first but I just need to know how this concludes and I want to know before the end of the year. Challenge number three is to read a comforting book. This is the other book I was talking about and that is The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. I feel like it's going to be comforting because it is an adult contemporary and the cover is beautiful and it's based off Raylo fan fiction so like it's got things that are going to comfort me and also how many good things people have been saying but I also don't know if a comforting read is meant to be a reread which this is not but I'm actually buddy reading this one with Miranda and again this was a book that I wanted to read in the month of November but I was just too busy that we didn't have a chance to so we're pushing back the buddy read so I was adamant that it had to be in December somewhere but I think this is going to bring me a lot of comfort so this is definitely going to be my first read of the readathon and I absolutely can't wait. Challenge number four is to read a book with something light on the cover. So I am going to pick Well Matched by Jen DeLuca because the background is this really nice baby light blue so that seems like very light to me and I literally put like so many 
many anticipated reads on my list for this readathon. Like the four that I just talked about all came out this year and I'm just very excited. I really want to know how this story is going to end. I'm kind of sad that this trilogy is over because Well Met is such a great book. And even though the second one wasn't as good, I'm definitely hoping that this is going to be really good because like I really like Mitch and April's characters and I like that they're going to like pretend to date. It's my favorite thing ever. Fake dating just works in so many different stories. But I definitely think this will be a quick read and I'm just so excited. And challenge number five is to read a book where most of the action takes place somewhere where it snows. And this challenge was so hard for me because I literally had nothing on my shelves because every book that could have fit to this I have already read in like previous Christmas readathons. So I was really stressed for trying to figure out what to do. So I went into my audiobook site and just typed up Christmas books. And the first book that came out was In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. And like I completely forgot about this book and I definitely think this takes place during Christmas because it's set in like a snowy cabin area but it's also what I didn't realize is this is one of those like Groundhog Day things where she keeps ending up on the plane to restart her holiday and no matter what she does she keeps going back so obviously there's going to be something in this holiday that she needs to do but the only book that I have read by Christina Lauren was my favorite Half Night Stand and I always planned on reading more but I don't know why I didn't push myself like I don't know if it was because I wanted to buy them physically or I just wasn't really feeling them like I thought I would end up buying them like I haven't even read The Unhoneymooners which I definitely am excited to read so after I saved in a holidays I also went and saved all of the other books that they have written like Autobiography I also own that one. I need to get back into their writing because they do have a lot of really good stories and they do really write like a really great book so I'm excited for this. But yeah this is my TBR and I definitely have a suspicion that these are probably all going to be five star reads and I'm just so excited. Like this is a good TBR. I just hope that I have time to read because literally I've just been doing so much other stuff that I just haven't had time for it. So fingers crossed. So guys that is all for my TBR and I'm so excited. This is getting honestly like way too hot. That is a look right there. Like honestly, I feel like I'm in like one of those snow jackets and I'll be like, oh my god, like it's snowing. I can't wait to have this on my tree. Like don't you think this is the best type of tinsel? Like the snow tip stuff? Like once I have my own place and that's probably gonna be a long time considering I just set this all up. So I'm probably not going to want to move for like a century. But when I have my own place, I'm going to really invest in having the Christmas tree that already has this in the leaves because it's just beautiful and it reminds me of the snow that we have at Jindabyte and it makes me sad. But I'm really excited for this readathon and I have my fingers crossed that I'm going to be able to get some reading done. Like I feel like really motivated because I'm going to get to some of the anticipated reads that I want to get to. Even though there's still a lot of books that got published this year that I didn't manage to get to. And I did totally buy like a lot of books last month. I thought I was going really well to have less books books at the end of the year than what I started with but then I had a really big haul and I'm not able to read enough to catch up with it but I'm still excited for this readathon. I think it's going to be a really fun time and like let's hope for the southern hemisphere that we win. But anyway guys thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!